Be sure to stick with me for the next video because we're going to be pulling all the calyxes off of the roselle and we're going to be making jam and drying the outer leaves for the um, tea and we're going to do something with the greens. I, I've been doing all sorts of research. I'm so excited to tell you. So later that day my girlfriend got to come on over and hang with me and we worked on this red roselle also known as the Roselle hibiscus, as you can see, it has that same flower, a little bit smaller and a little bit redder. Uh, those are calyxes, and they come on in the fall and winter season. Sometimes you can get a couple multiple harvests out of them, and the branches do get heavy. So here we are, we're picking the Roselle, we're about to, and um, our bushes are, my bushes are over six feet high and quite heavy with blooms as you can see they're starting to open a little bit and that's how you know when it's time to do that sometimes this plant is also it's got many names but jamaican sorrel uh red hibiscus there's Marilee. she's starting to pick the first of the calyxes here and uh you can make jam you can make preserves it's known to have medicinal values like uh regulating high blood pressure it is mostly grown in India, China, and Thailand. Um, these particular seeds came out of India from Baker Creek seeds. Oh, those are just beautiful. And so what I'm going to point out here is that even though I picked the main calyx, there are little calyxes that come along right behind it for the next harvest time. And so those are baby buds I'm pointing out. By the way, you can dry these leaves if you want and make them into a curry. They have uh, several applications that way too. Look at that beautiful bowl. Marilee and I went in the house and we started pulling the green parts off. You don't need that, discard that. And uh, start pulling, those are sepals, the red leaves, if you will, and they should be moist. You pull those out, you discard the seed, and then you save your sepals. And there's my pile. Uh, it got bigger. There you go. So I'm about to do the same thing. I pull those little green parts off. And then I hand it to Marilee. The small ones are pretty easy just to pull the sepals by hand. In fact, that's the best way. But on the larger ones, as you can see, she uses the apple core. She just pops it down. It pulls the sepals right out almost in one piece and then she discards or saves so there's the seed heads those would be good for hogs or whatnot but we just threw them away since we don't have hogs um, and you save that part for your jam or preserves or you can make syrup some people make a cold drink some make a hot tea or, as well and there I'm wash I just finished washing the sepals and then I went ahead and uh, laid them out on the trays for the dehydrator, give them a little bit of space, and in this coming last one, you'll see that I have a solid tray underneath because as they dehydrate, they get smaller, and sometimes they will fall through. So that'll be my bottom tray there. I happen to have a Presto Dehydro I don't remember the exact model number, but you can see them. They're actually really good. Mine works hard all year long. And it, I bought it a couple years ago, so it's even doing good that way. Make sure, though, that you get the ones with the different specific um, temperature set and the time set. And I, I have this for 13 hours at 135 degrees. And I'll check it along the way, but usually I run it through the night. And this is the final product. This is my red hibiscus leaves oh here i am making tea boiling my water getting my cheesecloth out i'm going to put just a small handful or two a little bit more than that in there and then i'm going to tie a knot on top of it add that into boiling water once it gets boiling watch your fingers and then just let it seep in there that's what it looks like after a few minutes and it is very tangy just like any sort of cranberry so what I found was um, you'll want to add some sugar of some sort 
For me, that is honey, which you'll see me going to here pretty soon. There you go. I'm making a hot tea, but you can make a cold drink in Nigeria. Nigeria, they make a pineapple watermelon mix with that. Uh, in Jamaica, they make Jamaica, which is it in the winter time, and they make it hot and they add a little cinnamon. So those are different ways you can also use it. Uh, it's this is a plant grows all down in the islands, Trinidad, Tobago. The U.S. Virgin Islands, you name it, it's all down there. Uh, it goes all the way to South America, really, in Central America. It's pretty popular. And here I am about to have my tea. Mm. Well, it's hot, but it's so good. <laughs> Very good. A little bit of that tangy and a little bit of that sweet with the honey. So delicious. So be sure to stay tuned with me because next week we're gonna make jam. I got a whole lot more calyxes out there to go through. Merrily, I need you. <laughs> Bye.